And I've had this smart fridge, the Samsung smart home fridge for like a month, but well, used it a month. We probably had it at least a month and a half because we were on vacation a little bit. Uh, if you want to see the model number, there it is right there. Um, so I just wanted to kind of do a video because I keep calling Samsung customer support and they don't really do a good job of getting back to, with me or resolving some of my issues. So I kind of wanted to give you an idea of, I think I've got four different things that I've encountered with this fridge that you really should know about before you go and buy it. The big one has to do with all recipes. And I'm going to edit this video later so I can show you the real problem with it. So all recipes is kind of a collection of other people's recipes that you can try out. And you can always press this heart button if you want it to go into your my favorites. But what about people who want to add their own recipes, right? So there's no real way to do this from the fridge unless you go through the web browser, you log in there, and then you can edit your own recipes. I prefer to do it for, from a computer. Here, you know, you can see some of these recipes um, that I've added in. I haven't put pictures with them yet. And most of these, I've had some issues with the website. And I can show you later on uh, once I well, edit this video and insert the problems with the website. All right, so here is the PC version of the All Recipes website. Um, let me show you my problem I've got. So this is how you add recipes. You have to go in here to your profile. And then from here, you can click on Personal Recipes. And, um, you know, if you guys are interested in any of these recipes, I don't mind. I'll share them in the comments. Just let me know. Uh, but I wanted to show you the problem here, um, specifically this one. So if you go in here and say, I want to edit this, I mean, it's taking a long time anyway, right? Well, you go down, you find this edit link and you click it. And then you get this message that says, oh, snap, something went wrong, but we're on it. Well, they never got on it. And I've contacted the tech support for all recipes several times got no response. I've contacted Samsung customer support and each time they told me they were going to escalate and, and contact me back the next day. Both of those times they never contacted me back. So their tech support has been awful. And I realize this is a third party site. However, I would argue that Samsung has sold their customer a solution. And this all recipe site is part of their solution. So they need to take some responsibility for it. Now, I don't know what their answer to that should be if they're going to interface with the people that run this site and have them fix the issues, or do they need to create their own recipe site that actually works? But I would say Samsung has a responsibility to do one or the other, and it doesn't seem like they're honoring their responsibility to their customers. Uh, so anyway, I mean, I've got some theories as to why it's doing it with this recipe. It could have to do with something like this this Amersan character being up here in the title. Maybe their database doesn't deal with it correctly. I don't know. I'm speculating. But on the other ones, I'm able to edit them. However, it presents another problem because it doesn't seem like their database is updating right away. So if I go in here and uh, let's say I wanted to edit Singaporean chili crab and I come down here and edit. Well, you notice it didn't give me a problem, but let's say I need to say change these ingredients. Say it's not one tablespoon of cornstarch, but it was two. Well, I'm going to make that two. Come down here and say update recipe. Okay, it's supposedly updated, but then look down here. It's not updated. Um, now, I'm going to go back and change that after this video because it should be one. But this shows you a problem with the website as well where it's not updating. And I've done all the normal things like clearing the cache of the browser and reopening it. Uh, checking it on the fridge and it doesn't seem to work. And then sometimes, like if you wait a while, it seems like it might update. I'm not sure if this is like a delay or timing issue, but it makes it real inconvenient to be able to update your recipes. So anyway, um, I hope this helps. Okay, my next issue with the fridge, and you may not have this issue, but it has to do with the Wi-Fi. And let me see if I can get into the settings. Um, turn the Wi-Fi on for a second. All right, you can see these different channels. Trojan is the 2.4 gigahertz channel, and Shellshock and Stuxnet are my two 5 gigahertz channels, which are being put out by my, um, my, my router, my access point, uh, which is just sitting right over there, so it is line of sight. Um, in case you can't see it, it's right there sitting on the shelf. 
Um, so, I mean, we're talking like 20, 30 feet away from it. Now, I haven't encountered this problem on Shellshock, but when you're on the 2.4 gigahertz network, I noticed that it cuts out quite a bit and you have to go out to the settings and constantly have to turn this off and then turn it back on. So it seems like there's a Wi-Fi problem. And um, I'm a Wi-Fi engineer by trade. I did that at some of my previous jobs. So I know the channels on the Wi-Fi network are set properly. Um, and that's not an issue. And there's a lot of other devices on that channel that aren't a problem. But ever since I went to the 5 gigahertz channel, uh, I haven't witnessed that problem anymore. Okay, the next issue I've got with it is kind of a biggie, and I'm not going to do the timing and everything to show you, but it has to do with the door alarm. So if you leave this door open, in about three minutes, you'll hear a little ding, ding, ding chime going off saying that your door is open. My big problem here is that after seven minutes, according to the tech support, that chime stops. So what happened was I went to bed one night and my seven-year-old came and he wanted to get some ice cream out of here and he didn't shut the door. He probably left it about like, maybe like that all night long. And I heard no chimes and there were no chimes going off in the morning and everything was thawing in the freezer the next day. So you'd think a really good customer experience would be something that says something like, hey, your door's open every minute or so and it doesn't stop. I mean, if I need to leave the door open and turn that sound off, I can always go into the settings and I can find that and turn that off manually. So that shouldn't be a big problem. They should have it continuously doing that. And um seems like customer support did not resolve that issue for me. So I was pretty unhappy there. All right. My last problem with the, the fridge is that uh, I went on vacation, took some photos and I want to upload them to the, to the fridge. So how do you do that? You have to do it through the app. The app allows you to select which photos you want to upload. Then you click upload and it's supposed to sync. Well, it didn't quite sync right away. And then I go in and I'm trying to add a new picture here and it shows you your pictures and they're not showing up in this list. So what was the problem? I went to the phone. I had to manually kill the app and then restart it. And then somehow it resynced. So that, that's not really a deal breaker. You just kind of have to know how to work around it. Um, so again, my biggest problem here is the, um, the problem with the door sensor, I think. And then the second biggest problem would be the fact that I can't really update the recipes. Um, and I find no way to delete the recipes either from, from their website. And, and I guess the biggest problem of all you should really consider is Samsung's tech support. They've already told me twice they were going to get back with me and they've never honored their word either time. So these are things you might want to think about before getting this fridge. Overall, my wife really likes it because she can browse the web and everything from the kitchen. She hasn't really used a lot of the other features. And the one feature I do like about all recipes is it's really getting me back into the habit of, of actually making recipes because it makes it so simple to find a recipe, find the ingredients you don't have, send those ingredients to your phone. And now you've got a shopping list on your phone. You can go and look for ingredients with, um, at the grocery store with, um, and then you've got the recipe right on your fridge while you're cooking it. So that makes it, uh, quite convenient. It's a nice feature to have. So I hope you like this and I hope it'll help make your decision as you're shopping for a fridge.